Donald Trump has selected one of the best known climate change deniers to lead his environmental protection agency transition team, according to two sources close to the Trump campaign. This guy's name is Myron Ebel. He is director of the Center for Energy and Environment at the very conservative Competitive Enterprise Institute. He is going to be managing Trump's transition plan for the EPA. He is a well known and very polarizing figure within both the energy world and the environment world. He's known for writing about uh, alarmism, as he calls what climate change science is. He frequently appears in media. He frequently appears in front of Congress. He's chairman of the Cooler Heads Coalition. Imagine that. Uh, quite a name. A group of nonprofits that question alarmism around climate science. If you think climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese, as Donald Trump has said uh, on at minimum one occasion, it does sort of follow that you would select someone from the 0.3 percent rather than the 99.7 percent on the issue of climate change. This is like choosing someone from the tiny percentage of people who question evolution to head up the I don't know evolution committee if there were one to make an analogy. This is not making huge headlines, but it really confirms that a Donald Trump presidency would actually be as terrible as we fear. There is this idea among some that we don't really need to worry about a Trump presidency because some of the stuff he's not going to be able to do. And in the end, the president can't really do that much putting an out and out climate science denier to transition the EPA is a disaster. Trump would be able, as I've mentioned, to select Supreme Court justices in all likelihood. This is an absolute disaster. And if you select a climate science denier to transition the EPA, you should be able to put aside anything else that Trump has said or claimed he will do and realize that this decision alone should uniquely and singularly disqualify Donald Trump from being the president of the United States. But it is barely even making headlines. And this is like I, I, I mean, I'm trying to think of an analogy. Would we put someone to head up NASA that denies that the sun is the center of our solar system? I hope not. I really hope that we wouldn't. And that's the equivalent that we're talking about here by selecting Myron Ebel to transition the EPA. The damage that Trump could cause in four years would be incomprehensibly far reaching. And this is just one piece of evidence that suggests that.